Hello there and welcome to another episode in our Going Medieval series. And uh, it's going to be a really great day for our settlers because it seems we've got a massive update from the developers of the game. So why don't we start with going through everything that's new so that you are fully aware and informed what our capabilities will be in the future so first of all we have seeds and saplings so now when we plant anything including the trees food items we are going to need seeds for cabbages what else do we have in here beets for example and saplings when we are planting different types of trees so with the seeds we can just get them by harvesting the food items that we already have or uh, trade with the merchants when it comes to the trees we can just uh, cut one of those down and that's gonna give us uh, for example this one here an oak sapling indeed so that's all lovely i guess we are gonna have to have a bit of a storage now for all the seeds that we gather as well now another thing we should be aware of in the future is that the plants can have blight and uh, when that the affects us. Uh, I think it will be smarter to keep those different farms a little bit spaced out and uh, when we see any blight on our plants we don't have any just yet but uh, our settlers will probably have to run straight away to remove all the plants with a bit of a disease on them. So yeah that's gonna make it a little bit more interesting as well so we'll have to be a bit more strategic when it comes to our farm placements. Now another thing uh, when we are talking about the plants is they've added some new ones in here. Apparently we've got some apple trees that we could start planting once we see a merchant come by and visit us because they do not grow in the wild we have to trade them first and once we've got a few planted we can then uh, harvest apples and then in return if we scroll down let's have a quick look here we should be having a new recipe which is here and we can make some cider so yeah something more a uh, bit more variety i guess for for all our colonists the next one we have what is new is there's a whole lot of different new items so starting with the food we can now make bread we can also make apple pie, red currant pie, honey crisps, apple cider, which we already looked at before, a meat, honey, wax, tallow, ice blocks, a silver, and yeah, I think we're not gonna have silver on this map because reading through the update notes, you have to start a new map in order to have silver. So yeah, I guess we could trade it still with the merchants, but we're not going to be able to mine it, which is, uh, you know, it's okay. Then there's also a bit of new equipment as well that we can craft. Different bucklers, kites, uh, regular shields have different designs now as well. So I'm pretty excited to see what we can make. Then we have also a few new items on the, the construction tab. And I'm trying to find where they were. Oh, there we go. We've got the caravan halt where settlers gather and uh, form their uh, caravan so that means all the items that they'll bring from from our colony or from from their ventures but we also have the mission stall so no longer will they be running around in our colony uh, instead we can plop one of those buildings down and this is where the merchants We'll come and hang out so we'll definitely be placing this down very soon as well now the biggest one which i think is the most anticipated and exciting thing is you might have noticed that for some reason our cor corner merlins are missing so uh, when we come under here we no longer have the corner option so we'll just have to see if we can uh, let's go higher plop this one down and uh, the way we get the corner ones now is we get this variations menu yeah that's looking pretty cool so we can turn which way it's positioned and uh yeah i i kind of like this i think it's pretty cool now when it comes to the walls the same thing we finally have round shaped ones with different textures and uh, that's pretty funky as well i quite fancy this option here nice little smooth corners and uh, what else and yeah different oh there we go we've got a merchant so we'll definitely check out what they have as well in a second but yeah that's essentially uh what we can and same with the roofs 
So we finally, let's grab this roof over here. So we can do the um, corner or the end bits a little bit nicer now. Uh, there's another one which could actually connect to some other ones. Uh, then we got this one. Uh, that one's looking pretty good. So if we change all of you to, let's say, this over here. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm really digging this look, if I'm honest. That is pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of very remotely, more like a Eastern sort of style Japanese old pagodas a little bit. Yeah. And then we can change the uh, material. If we grab you over here, there we go. So different textures that we can change and no longer we have to, you know, deconstruct just to get a different material. And yeah, that's all, um, all visual. Good. Okay. So let's leave it at that I believe yeah those the walls roofs and merlons that are most affected by that then the next one research panel has changed as well we've got the beekeeping here ice making which is pretty cool so we can finally make a proper a fridge or a gold storage area I think the rest have just moved things around and uh, yeah we've got most things already researched so now jumping quickly back to the harvesting when we click on the area over here, let me just pause the game real quick. Now we get the uh, finally the option for the priority. I, actually, I can't remember if it was there already before or not. I don't think it was. It is gonna tell us the lifespan, the skills, the temperature, even an option if we don't want to sow anything in here. But then we go to the harvest phase, which is don't harvest when it's ripening. So for that, if we're looking at the cabbage field over here. We don't get any seeds, but we can still get two cabbages. When it's ripe, we get one seed and six cabbages or flowering. So we get a bit more uh, on the seeds end, but less on the on the cabbages and uh, going to seed tons of seeds and a little bit of cabbage. So that's uh, that's awesome as well. And same applies, I'm pretty sure, for all the plants, but they might just have different options. So for example, herbs over here, they only have growing and the ripe phase. Beets, same as cabbages it seems. Flax, only ripe. And beet we looked at, uh, let's see for... Well, I can only grab it. Flax field. Okay, just a ripe option and that's same as cabbage as well. Now moving over to the trees. We have the sapling phase. Young, which gives us now a, a sapling, some sticks and a little bit of wood as well. Growing. Mature and when it's dead so dead does not give us a sapling anymore so if we want those saplings we'll probably leave it at mature i think and uh, last but not least we also have the option to change the what's growing in here by selecting the crop type so cabbage flax barley red currants and trees birch trees in this case at least does not seem to give us an option for carrots but that could also be because we don't have any seeds i suppose now the fueling system has changed a little bit as well so they'll definitely need refueling and uh, i've just turned them on i guess i'm gonna have to of course off camera go through every single one and turn off the wood option i'm okay with using sticks and coal but wood i think we want to keep for now, I'll just leave it as it is because, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it off, off camera. New modifiers for settlers. So now they can actually die of age. And also, as they grow up, they will have different modifiers. So when they're young, they'll probably get a bit of a bonus to their speed and, and uh, maybe a few different perks and attributes. As they get older, they might become a bit more wiser but their movement, for example, might be a little bit slower and they might get injured a little bit easier as well. So, so yeah, there's a bit of a expiration date on our colonists now, which is very sad, but it's, uh, it's all part of the realism, I suppose. There is also an added function of um, settlers having dreams at night. So... Apparently they can have both good dreams and sad or bad dreams as well. I'm pretty excited to see uh, how that is going to affect their everyday lives. But uh, I guess uh, they'll have a bit of a bit of a boost in their mood if the dream they saw was a little bit better. 
than uh, someone else. With the enemies, it seems they are have a bit more variety now as well. They will be carrying different types of equipment and uh, and weaponry. Now, whilst we do that, it, there's just so many corner merlons that we're missing. So why don't I just put a few a few of them down real quick and we'll try and close this area and all those corner towers actually as well then um, having a quick look at this the charms we now have animal husbandry and that's gonna allow us to keep some bees then we finally also have different styles or materials for arches we now have limestone block arch and a clay brick arch as well which i would love to go through the colony and just swap them out with all those wooden ones that we already have uh, that's uh, yeah that's definitely gonna take a little bit of time and probably another job that I'd most likely do off camera because it's uh, quite quite a boring one but yeah and then uh, then they've fixed a whole lot of bugs and uh, had some other fixes to the game as well so if you do want to see the full list of, of the changes then please please do have a read through there chains logs as well on, on steam perhaps the merchants are yeah so good looking gamer why don't you try and trade with them and let's see if we can maybe buy some apple seeds and um, have a look if the menu for trading has changed as well okay so what do we have it seems all the buildings are somewhat on the top now uh, if i remember correctly as well anything we can't trade is now at the bottom which is really welcome change and uh, do we see any red currents okay meals herbs not any seeds though or any apples unless oh and they seem to be ordered alphabetically as well which is very lovely indeed but apple seeds can't really see any so sorry guys not gonna trade with you this time all right i think we've covered pretty much the majority of the the biggest changes there's lots of smaller ones as well but uh, I guess it's time to jump back into the game now. And we'll start with a few a few of the comments that you made in the previous, previous episode. Okay, so I forgot to note down the name. But there was an excellent comment about making some archer towers not attached to the walls. But more like standalone towers. So that way when the enemies come from anywhere on the map and they bring those massive catapults with them or the long range uh, siege weaponry then they would target those towers instead of all of that beautiful castle that we've just spent many episodes to get it looking as nice as we can so yeah definitely some archer towers would be great but I just have to figure out first how far the next layer of the walls is going to be so uh, let's wait with the towers for a little bit in addition to that one something i really like and do want to do let's grab some floors over here there was a an idea to build a bit of a balcony going around this area and let me just try and get the final bit in as well so let's give this a try can we actually extend it by another yes we can okay not that corner though okay that's a bit of a shame but let's uh let's do it this way and if we have to maybe we can put an extra bit of support there so yeah we'll have the floors from here and then i guess on the corners we could do merlons again just like so entrance will be from here so maybe maybe the merlons will will go from right about Let's start, see if we can do one more. Yes, we can. Okay, we'll put one in. See what it looks like. And uh, then we'll decide whether to keep them or not. But I quite like the idea at least. Now, our next suggested thing that we should do is let's get rid of these roofs for the time being. I believe it was Angel uh, uh, suggested that we should use this space and build a chimney right through here which i really love it makes sense because there is a bit of a blacksmith area in uh, in here and all with all the production that's happening in in here too oh they've already taken it down okay 
So how shall we do that? Let's grab one of those walls. We'll do... I think we use the normal limestone walls. We can bring you through. Oh, right about... Uh, that's going to be a little bit tricky in here. I guess... Yeah, I don't really want to destroy those roofs in here. So maybe we'll have to bring you out a little bit. Okay, let's try this again. And oh yeah, with the roof bits as well. Like, unless we made it shorter. But let's just... Let's just give it a go. We shall do through here. And I guess we're going to have to get rid of those bushes as well. That's going to be very, very thick. Yeah. Okay, but well, we're still going to give it a try. Okay, we'll build it. Maybe we'll have to think about... Actually, yeah. It's just too massive, isn't it? I mean, I maybe some of those medieval ones did have bigger chimneys or maybe we don't leave this sort of gap in the middle and just make a more narrow one maybe two by two and by putting but if you put the fire no i want to put the fire at the bottom so then we could feed it i guess through here somewhere remove this uh wall i guess yeah one of these ones here and then put the fireplace uh, or the brazier just in the middle. That's something we could do for sure. And above it, because we don't want the rain to go in. I uh, really wish we had like half walls now. Yeah. Well, let's uh, put in four corners. And we'll grab a roof bit as well. We have those ones. So... Could just drag it over. Something like so, but they are not very happy with us, so we're gonna have to give them a little bit of support here. Okay. Well, there we go. I'm gonna have to put a few ladders and allow them to climb a little bit higher. But okay, so one thing done, let's resume this. Let's see what, what's next on our our list. So Mikatron had a good idea that we should let's grab one of those trees and make this a little bit more interesting by uh, let's see shrink the zone and we shall make a tree just about oh okay we're gonna have to cut you down first and we'll put a couple of trees along this uh, this area here as well just to make it a little bit nicer and to keep it random let's do one over here one there, and one's gonna go there. Now, Mikatron seems to be uh, seems to be on fire because he's given us another great idea. I did feel right away when we built this warehouse and the uh, what's it called, like a weaponry storage space, that this roof just feels like it doesn't belong here. So let's get rid of those. I'll speed up the time as well. Oh, it's already on three speed. Okay. And then we shall replace it with Merlons instead. Because by having them all the way around, it makes it look... Oh, we can't place them under the flags. Well, that's really sad. I think the flags are going to have to go then. Actually, let's remove them, not destroy them. Yep, let's back them up. And then um, by having Merlons go around, it makes it look like a bit more a bit more like a barracks you lot once you're done eating please go through there and we'll see i'm sure it's gonna look a lot more nicer whilst we wait for that why don't we just fill in a few more caps in these locations i don't know if it matters which way we put them because we can always turn them around here there we go and now we've got this corner bit in okay fantastic what about the other one what are you gonna look like uh, yeah, nah. I think we're gonna go with these ones for now. Or well, these towers at least. Maybe they'll look nicer in the future. Okay, so this section is done already. How about we bring... Yep, okay. These ones across just like so. And yeah, we'll probably want to put a little bit of flooring. 
just over there. And now we can add the missing Merlons in place as well. Have you? No, you still haven't packed them down. Okay, that's fine. One thing at a time. I'm okay with that. And right up here, I guess we're gonna need some supportive structures. So let's do one around this way. And another one probably needs to go, I guess, somewhere here as well. Let's let's go all the way around. Okay, last thing we'll need ladders. Oh, okay, so... Well, that's a bit more difficult. If you're going here, go here. We'll take you out. Is that about right? I do not know. But we shall find out. You go there. Yep, I think we are getting somewhere. And then we'll put another ladder. Can we extend this a little bit? Oh, we can. So actually, we should have done this ladder a little bit further away. Let's make you just about here. Put some floors. And another one now. Not all layers, let's do just this one. We shall get rid of these ones. Okay, looking good. Can we? Oh, we can. Perfect. Okay, bit of scaffolding. Uh, don't tell me you can't. Uh, never mind. I think we are fine because I just remembered they can access it from sides as well. But we are gonna need something up here. Okay, perfect. Get this done. Okay, now let's have a look at the barracks section here. We've got the Merlons in place. Okay, good. That's looking lovely as well. We'll turn you facing this way. And same with the other corner bits as well. Okay, that's great. Now, the flags are gone, so we can put in the last few as well. What's the problem with you? Not enough resources. How come? Oh. Oh, we don't have any more clay, is it? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go mining somewhere. Yeah. Well, you can probably be removed. And let's hide those trees just for a second. We shall grab... Uh, we can grab all buildings and let's remove those clay walls. Because they are not needed anymore and hopefully, hopefully we can reclaim some of their resources at least. Okay, so things are being built nice and slow. Uh, I think we do have another corner bit in here. Yep, nope, that's perfect. Uh, do you know what? I think I'll probably do it off camera instead. That's going to take quite a bit of time. Well, a lot of, uh, lot of new options for construction, which I'm very excited. Hold on a second. Let's remove you as well. And I also have a lot of work to now do off camera for the, for the next episode. But I'm very happy with those changes. It should give us a lot of new options. How we want to change it up a little bit and make it a little bit different. Oh, look at that. That is so much nicer now. I absolutely love this. Can we do cor uh, corner ones a little bit different as well? Is that going to work well? Yeah. I think it does. That's looking awesome. What about these sections? Ooh, okay. Uh, let's try and grab you all. Okay, that is looking very cool indeed. Yeah, what about... Oh, oh that's... Uh, no. No. No, 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 no. These are the end bits. Okay, there we go. Yep. I really love those changes. I'm so excited. Hopefully we can make some really nice stuff in the future. And uh, yeah, okay. When it comes to these bits, okay, well, I've seen your comments now from the previous episodes as well. So we'll most likely put the, I think the Merlin Tower or the, it's not really a tower, is it? It's more like a balcony in a way. 
I think that's what we'll do on this side as well. We'll rip out those uh, roof bits there and to leave it a little bit different on one of these ends, I could leave it just like this. Yeah, that should be should be fine. Are you still not able to access? No, you're not. Okay. Well, let's fix this. Let's give you another floor piece just over there. And no, not this one. Uh, it's very difficult to grab. Oh, there we go. No. Okay, I think we got it now. Very difficult to grab all those support beams. It's always selecting the walls or something else behind them. But I think we've got it now. Okay, good. And... Oh, we lost the whole roof bit. Well, let's do... Oh, we don't have clay, right? Well, why don't we try one of the other ones now? We shall do this one. So we'll try and skip the night real quick. We'll construct them and see what they will look like as well. All right, and here we go. Here's one of the support beams and that actually drops a lot lower than the... Oh no, the wooden ones drop pretty low as well. I just didn't notice it so much before. I really... Yeah, I like what it looks like. That is pretty awesome. And with the balcony here as well, that's actually very nice addition to to all that. All we need now. Can we do two more Merlons? Yes, we can. Okay. So that should be pretty sick. And I could do it around the other towers as well. Now the only one that we... What are you guys waiting for? Do we not have enough wood? No, we do have. There's plenty over there. So... What about this one? Oh, we might be out of limestone. How about we'll dig a few more. Just to get a bit extra limestone from this area. Maybe another block from there. Get this cut down. And once it's done, let's try and get this chimney somewhat built as well. And there we go. Whole army of colonists. It seems no one else has... Well, none of them have really anything to do, so... They're all gonna come and help us out. Actually, with the research as well, why don't we get beekeeping? Ice making? Uh, furniture as well, we can maybe look at it at some other time, but... Beekeeping would be really cool. Now, where did it go? Did you go under... We've got the ice box. Oh, there we go, there's the skep. Okay. Cool, so... Do we want bees lying around in our town? I think the answer is a no. So how about we get a couple, just here should be fine, we'll leave a bit of a gap between them. Okay, let's place a few good looking gamer, why don't you construct one of them. Now we have a bit more limestone as well, so we can construct this area. Uh, I wish we could also give priorities to when it comes to construction buildings. Okay, Greg's helping out as well. All we need now is a little bit of hay. Do we have enough? Oh, we've got 400. Okay, that should be a plenty then. We'll get you done as well. Is anyone bringing it? Someone is coist. Okay, thanks a lot, buddy. Where are you now? Well, Craig's doing one of them. That seems to be taking quite a bit of time. Nearly there. Oh... And will you look at that until we have, I don't know, how much are we going to need? 100? And when we go to the jobs now, we got the animal husbandry in here. So that is for beekeeping for now, at least. Is anyone... Okay, we do have a few. Drake, maybe Katarina, because you got 11 skill points. That seems to be the highest, yeah. Uh, actually, Potilda over here as well. So why don't uh, two of you... Bring us some honey. I'm assuming we already have the bees magically somewhere here. Okay, there we go. So we've got the bees in now and ice making is really cool as well. But I think you can only make ice during winter if I remember correctly. And yeah, this is probably the area where we would be placing ice. Now, when it comes to recipes... Doesn't give us bread just yet. So how can we make bread? Okay, maybe I'll just look it up real quick and see how we can make bread. 
Okay, it seems if I got it correct. So when we go into meals and edit this, let's take out all the cooking materials and we'll change it to barley. So this should give us some bread. Okay, well, let's give it a try. Another traveler comes by. Don't really have the stall just yet. Maybe we'll place you down as well just to see what it looks like. Where was it again? Miscellaneous. And I think where shall we place you? It's a little crowded, but for now, let's just place you over here. We'll take a look at that. Ooh, okay. So Hendrik has gained the Burke Dullard. Hendrik has turned 38. Paulie has gained Winsome. Okay, so as they age as well, they'll gain different kinds of perks, which is really cool. And who, who's running over there? Tim. Okay, get to bed. It's already 1 a.m. There we go. Do we see any bees flying around this area as well? No, it seems they haven't really done anything with them yet. Okay, that's all right. Uh, let's just bring this up a level. Can we now start constructing these floors? Oh, uh, maybe. Stability is zero. Okay. Yeah, I kind of... I'm also afraid this is the case, but... We'll get a few wall bits in there. So that way we can get the chimney in place as well. That's a lot of animals. Yeah. Well... Once we start needing a letter a little bit more, then we can probably get quite a bit of meat there. Oh, wait. They have access to this now? Oh. Okay, that's not good. That means all the raiders can just walk into our colony as well. Um, yeah, how about we take that access away from them? At least for now, we can always put some floors in there if we want this, but now we can at least keep those animals in our backyard with the, well, future farms, I suppose. Okay, has anyone... Yes, we have done those bits. Can we get to constructing as well? Sanchez's already doing it. Well done, buddy. Uh, forgot to remove those floors, but that is okay. And, okay, that's looking pretty good. And it seems the trader is now locked into... This zone as well. Ooh, that is awesome. Got our banner on that as well. Are you guys growing? Yes, you are. Okay, we'll put the trees back up. Okay, I was just about to start wrapping up the episode, get the final roof bit in, but uh, good timing for the raid. Let's have a look at these guys. We got 17 over here. Ooh, yeah, different shields. And look at that. They've got their little decorations there as well oh look at those clothes that looks pretty cool and what do you guys have okay so there's a few bows but we have not upgraded our set list just yet but i think we should be fine we'll just rally everyone up do you all have weapons yes you do probably not the best ones but i think it will do how many do we grab i think we got Pretty much everyone, so we'll draft you, bring you together, everyone with a bow. You know the drill. Get on this section here. Do we have anyone else? Oh yeah, Henrik, you as well. Why don't you... Oh, we don't have that space anymore. Uh, that's alright. Polly, you can go over there. Wait, is everyone coming up here now? No. So that's good. You can hop there. Quiz, good looking gamer. Potato. Tim, yep, you can just stand behind. And we'll wait for them to get a little bit closer. Florence, how about you get right behind Drake there as well? Here they come. Okay, we'll speed you up a little bit. Fire away. Let's bring our troops just outside the walls as well. Oh, he's awaiting, evading us. He's pretty quick, yeah. 
But no, our guys will mince him up. Oh, they've destroyed one of our pyres. Well, that's okay. Five of them here. Okay, you're being targeted already. That's that's fine. Uh, why are you just standing there? Uh, it would be lovely if you start fighting back. One archer down. Who's getting low? Ooh. Yeah. Got a few injuries, but Tilda, maybe you pull back a little bit. Is anyone else really low here? Hard to tell. Oh, that was a victory already. And let's mop up the rest as well. Are they all gone? I think they are. Well, they've become uh, free resources for us, but what we'll do is let's uh, undraft them. We shall allow everything to be picked up. Let's sort it out. We'll need buyers as well, but we'll worry about it later. If we could get, let's see, good looking gamer or poly. Can someone build this? No, Sanchez is already doing it. Okay, great. Let's get that final piece in. And then we can pretty much remove everything in here. Let's do single layer, floors only. Oh, the camera angles are a bit rough, but let's do that. We shall remove. I think we can just get, get it all out now, can't we? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna go as well. Ooh, another thing I forgot. The floors also have different designs now. So that's if we grab a piece, let's say here. Okay. And the sides, most corners, right. Okay, so that's something we can also do in the future. Very cool indeed. How about we just, you know, remove everything from around here so we can make it look somewhat nice. Uh, there you go. Oh, it's the evening. Well, that's all right. This is kind of what the chimney area could look like. Looks more like a church tower. So maybe I'll have to think about some of those design options. Yeah. Uh, play around a little bit to see if we can make it look a little bit different. But essentially, yeah, I, I guess I kind of like it. Potato S is now 40 years old. Congratulations, buddy. Could look cool. But again, kind of looks more like a church now. Let me know what you guys think. It's been a very long episode already, so we'll cut it over here. Quite a lot of updates that we've covered. We've also gone through your comments and updated or upgraded this space a little bit. And with all these new options of all the building blocks, I think this should be pretty exciting in the future. So thank you very much for joining and I hope to see you again in the next one.